options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I won't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Ah! Ah! Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore, I'm leaving! Won't move. <laughs> Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please save me, sis! Are you okay, Futaba? Crap, he's home!
Who the hell are you? Don't move! You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please save me! You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. Uh, we... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? W we're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This... Um... Uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. <sighs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now... Where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, 
I hear voices, and Mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... Uh, 